sandstone blocked, red brown rocked, humid, wet walled, home to moss, I stand at the top, my eye following the fall of water clear as it leaves the edge to plunge white in foam, roaring, deafening, clattering on stone. The gorge is narrow and dim, trees above bright and green, under summer's sunlight kiss, cool air misty blows back from impact and chills me. Go on, just go for it, other jumpers jeer, cue, and shiver. I pick my spot and leap outwards, stomach lurching as I drop, a timeless second, frozen. Then, whoosh, a rising crowned splash, dart of numbing cold and girls' squeals, bird song and light fade, replaced by the dull murmur of the waterfall. A myriad silver bubbles accompany me from above, fan out, fizzing, effervescing and expanding, return to the punctured surface. My leap has flipped me wither shins away from the sky, my toes and soles towards the light, my head and shoulders in shadier shade. I sink slowly to the bedrock bottom, red speckled trout dart zigzagging away from my intrusion. My ears squeak with depth, sharp pain eased by a pinched nose and a blow. I look upwards towards the light, exhale, my precious breath rising and expanding like a quicksilver dome, rings like a liquid bell, rising in tone as it ascends. My lungs start to feel the burn, time to return. I crouch, feet planted, my slow spring propels me upwards, but languidly, lazily, savoring my slowly turning ascent. My head emerges with river water call, now breaks the surface, and oh, the newfound wonder of light and scent and sound.